Hello there! In this short video, I will talk to you about sustainability in projects and specifically about two dimensions of sustainable project management – the sustainability of and sustainability by projects. I will define and differentiate between these two dimensions, identify some of the key issues related to them and briefly address their connection. In the first video about sustainability dimensions, Tuomas Ahola explained why sustainability is important in projects and what the triple bottom line framework entails. Let's have a quick recap and then segue into this video's main contents. The purpose of a project is to plan, predict and achieve a future state of affairs that differs from the original state. So, projects are fundamentally about achieving a some kind of change, for example, to a company or even the society. In turn, sustainability of organizations and society is achieved through changes. So, this implies that projects are the form of organizing that drives sustainable development. Therefore, project management has a significant role in contributing to sustainability of societies, organizations and individuals. Let's look at next how. Here we have the IPMA Periodic Table of Project Management Competence Elements developed by Stacey Garth. The table describes 46 elements that effective project managers and teams need to master for successful delivery of any project. The technical elements in the center reflect a typical engineering area of project management with long history in and research on technical and detailed planning and execution of said planning. Mastering these is the baseline of project management and obviously vital to the success of any project. On the right we have the so-called behavioral elements that emphasize the soft skills of project management. Project management studies have shown that the technical elements are not sufficient, but that soft skills are equally important for project success, as most project work is executed through or requires human interaction. On the left we have the contextual elements. These elements highlight that all projects are embedded in multiple contexts simultaneously. The different contexts have influence on the project and its delivery for example, in the form of requirements, limitations and needs. Now, an interesting question emerges. Which of these competence elements relate to sustainability and why? You can pause the video and think about this for a while and when you are ready, please continue watching the video. Well, for starters, if you look at these elements from the triple bottom line framework, we can easily identify, for example, that the competencies related to IP, interested parties, can be associated with the social sustainability of projects. Also, competencies related to C, cost and finance, can be seen to be associated with the economic sustainability of projects. Finally, competencies related to SD, scope and deliverables, could be associated with the environmental sustainability of projects. However, there is much more to this issue and practically all these elements can have sustainability implications, but it depends on how we define sustainable project management. There are various definitions for sustainable project management beyond the scope of this video, but common to many of these definitions is their emphasis on achieving a sustainable product or deliverable of the project for example, from the perspective of the triple bottom line framework. In their empirical case study of the relationship between project management and sustainable development principles, Roland Garays and colleagues concluded that the triple bottom line framework, introduced to you in a previous video, elaborates the essence of sustainability and is likely adequate to assess the sustainability of the deliverable of projects but it may not be sufficient to cover the integration of sustainability into the process and management of projects. So the process or delivery of the product is also important from sustainability perspective. This dichotomy between the process and product can be defined as the sustainability of projects and sustainability by projects respectively. 
These are two dimensions of sustainable project management. Let's look at these two dimensions in greater detail. Sustainability of projects covers those project management processes that consider the environmental, economic and social sustainability issues of the project's life cycle. In turn, sustainability by projects covers those issues that relate to the environmental, economic and social sustainability impacts of a project's end product. Let's look at some concrete examples next. Here is a list of general examples related to sustainable project management processes. At the top we have sustainability-related success criteria and goals. These can be a foundation for planning the sustainable project management processes. These kinds of criteria and goals can be derived and contextualized, for instance from the UN Sustainable Development Goals. As you might have already noticed, the examples here relate to the different dimensions of the triple bottom line framework. For instance, sustainable procurement and responsible supply chain practices relate to social sustainability. These can mean, for example, that a construction company considers and employs only contractors for a project who pay their taxes and pay their employees fairly. Another example related to social sustainability is health and safety principles and improvement of working standards. These can mean, for example, that the working conditions at an industrial project site follow all safety and health regulations and that project employees are not obliged to work too many hours, at least without appropriate compensation. The environmental impact assessment is an example related to environmental sustainability. The assessment helps determine the environmental feasibility of, for example, an industrial power plant project and helps determine the technological solutions necessary to fulfill environmental standards. By the way, the technological solutions can relate to sustainable, sustainability innovations. For instance, industrial projects plans. Industrial projects can be platforms for developing sustainability-related innovations like new sustainable technologies practices or materials. In turn, sustainable or sustainability-related business models of project-based organizations and projects can relate to economic sustainability. These can include, for example, financial models in public construction projects that do not overconsume public funds, funds and resources, but instead seek other means of funding, like private investments and future end-users payments. Also, cost-benefit analysis can help determine not only the economic feasibility of a project, but also the social and even environmental feasibility, depending on what is included in the analysis. So, some of these examples can relate to multiple dimensions of the triple bottom line framework. Now, let's look at a list of general examples related to sustainable project product. Similarly, these examples relate to the different dimensions of the triple bottom line framework. For example, design for environment and clean technologies relate to environmental sustainability. These can mean, for instance, in the context of marine industry, a ship design that utilizes renewable materials and energy solutions and alternative fuels. In turn, design for accessibility relates to social sustainability. This can be, for example, about a shopping center design that considers all accessibility and mobility issues. Another example is educational and social programs as part of a project, meaning, for example, a continuous traffic safety campaign as part of a new road construction project. Circular economy and site stream utilization are examples related to economic sustainability. For instance, wood, ash and bark in a forest industry are side streams that can be used in landscaping instead of expensive landfilling, improving the economic efficiency of forest industry projects. This example also relates to environmental sustainability, as wood, ash and bark are considered renewable materials. So many of these items listed here can relate to multiple dimensions of the triple bottom line framework. Let's look at a real-life case Montes del Plata pulp mill project. 
Montes del Plata Mill in southwest Uruguay is a eucalyptus wood pulp mill run as a joint venture by a Nordic company Stura Enso together with Chilean pulp producer Arauco. Montes del Plata owns 190,000 hectares of land and leases 56,500 hectares of land. The mill also delivers its surplus energy of around 500 gigawatt hours per year to Uruguay's electricity grid. Stura Enso has published details about this project in their Global Responsibility Stakeholder magazine. Of course, one should always use critical thinking when reading companies' self-reports. Nevertheless, the magazine provides at least some evidence that Stura Enso and Arauco had used several sustainable project management processes. For example, the magazine highlights the following. Our work started with a major environmental and social impact analysis conducted by a consultancy company, whose findings now form the basis of our work in the sustainability team. According to the magazine, Stura Enso and Arauco also had a strong desire to hire local people. We have committed to hiring as many Uruguayans as we can. Still, there will be some cases where we will have to bring in people from outside Uruguay because their specialized skills are just not available in this country yet. The magazine also highlights how Stura Enso and Arauco invested in a community engagement program that was coordinated by a designated manager. They had weekly and monthly meetings with community leaders, locals, local authorities, universities and NGOs. According to the magazine, these sustainable project management processes helped Stura Enso and Arauco to achieve a more sustainable project's end product. For example, in addition to the pulp mill itself, they developed a football yard to the locals and a highway extension with a major traffic safety campaign in local schools, where children have learned potentially life-saving lessons and been given light reflectors. They also provided various programs such as education and development programs to locals, a community health program and a program for local entrepreneurs. In addition, housing was donated together with the local government for the local people. While these examples relate mostly to social sustainability, they provide evidence of the connection between the two dimensions of sustainability. In other words, sustainable project management processes are a central mechanism for achieving sustainable project product. For instance, in this case project, the established sustainability team and community engagement program facilitated dialogue and collaboration between the stakeholders and Stura Enzo and Arauco. The dialogue and collaboration in turn seem to be crucial enablers for the social sustainability of the project's end product. Sustainable project management therefore calls for a life cycle orientation, which is also emphasized in a rather recent systematic literature review by Silvius and Schipper, who developed an overarching definition for sustainable project management. Sustainable project management is the planning, monitoring and controlling of project delivery and support processes with consideration of the environmental, economic and social aspects of the life cycle of the project's resources, processes, deliverables and effects, aimed at realizing benefits for stakeholders and performed in a transparent, fair and ethical way that includes proactive stakeholder participation. To wrap up this video, I want to highlight a couple of key takeaways. First, projects are a significant driver in the transformation toward sustainable societies. Second, sustainable project management can be divided into sustainable project management processes and sustainable project product. Third, the specific contents of sustainable project management processes and project product are contextual and relate to one or more of the triple bottom line dimensions. Fourth, sustainable project management calls for a life cycle perspective where sustainable project management processes are a central mechanism for achieving sustainable project product. I have listed several further reading materials on this slide in case you are interested in learning more about project sustainability. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.